What's the deal, bro? LB, no intro. We straight to the bullshit on this one. This is why I don't fuck with Wale the Great News. First off, use a fuck boy. Second of off, use a bitch nigga. Second of off, bro, you just fake as fuck, bro. You faker than a four dollar bill with Michelle Obama on the on the front of it, bro. Like, nigga, how do you mix lies and rumors, rumors and lies, bro? Like, it's niggas like you that's really fucking it up for niggas like me that's really trying to get this start off with this news and these reactions and this whole YouTube channel popping when it comes to the entertainment business, bro. But at the same time, it's niggas like you who also make it good for niggas like me because you be kicking that fake shit, so I ain't got no choice but to kick this real shit that I'm always going to kick, bro. Like, I don't know how, and, and then for the subscribers, for the followers and all that shit you got, bro, I don't see how the fuck you're even doing half the shit you're even doing, bro. Like, it, it makes no fucking sense. It makes none. And how you getting away with this shit is beyond me, bro. You, you, I put you in that informant place, bro. That informant, feel what I'm saying? You know what you remind me of, bro? You remind me of that nigga. You remind me of them niggas that the, um, the police or the CEOs are putting in a, in a jail cell with a certain nigga. Make it seem like he's got paperwork, seem like he got this, make it seem like he got that, and they put you in there as an informant to get some information. Cause you know when you went in the cell with your celly nine times out of ten, my nigga, y'all talk. And some of y'all niggas be talking about the wrong shit to the wrong person. You feel what I'm saying? But even with that, bro, it's just a lot of a lot of bullshit that's going down that I just really can't condone when it comes to him. You feel what I'm saying? The, the same thing with academics, bro. And it's crazy because DJ Academics gave me, I ain't going to say he inspired me like that. DJ Ghost, Dom is live. And Albar actually the ones who inspired me to really do this. DJ Academics just opened that lane for all of us. But it's like, boy, ever since you've been fucking with Takashi, lo, you've been on some real humbug shit. And I don't know what the fuck it's, and I don't know what the fuck it's about, bro. Like, I'm, I really don't understand it. You went from this nigga who wouldn't be hanging with rappers, wouldn't be caught with rappers, and nigga, your savage level was turned all the way down. My nigga, you turned all the way down. Nigga, they won't no fucking smoke like, like, he, like he has severe asthma or some shit. Feel what I'm saying? But Takashi come out and nigga, you little way K, you this, you that, you that, you this, you getting into it with other unknown rappers, you getting into it with other you YouTubers and all this extra shit, you shooting videos and riding around with like come on bro. I'm talking all tough on the internet, my nigga like that ain't your character, bro. Cause you know if a nigga run up on you and smack the shit out of you, first thing you go do and we know this. Calling the cops. You suing. Something this this just came out your mouth, bro. And I put you in, not even like that, because you be having some real news. You actually do be having some real shit. That's the only reason I'm like really I I fucks with you act, but you really been on some fuck shit though, bro. I fuck with DJ Ghost, fuck with Diamonds Live, fuck with I Eyeball, fuck fuck with um with uh, that top shelf media, with uh, refuse media, I fucks with bro, but while they the great news, bro, you was a sucker, my nigga, you was a straight sucker, bro, for real, like yo, your whole existence is fucking questionable, bro, bro, like everything about you is questionable, my G. But it's good, though. I just had to put my two cents out, out there, bro. Because I've been seeing a lot of bullshit up on your channel. A lot of bullshit up on your page. A lot of fake shit. And I be reading your little comments and shit. Because at first, my nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Before I started my YouTube channel, I used to fuck with you. I, let, me, let me not lie. I watched a couple of bro videos. And I realized it was all some fake shit. And I still see it's still on some fake shit. Like, bro, what? Why? Why? That's all I want to know is why do you feel you have to put out fake shit, rumored shit, to get attention? 
First of all, you hide behind the screen, man, because niggas ain't seen your face. Niggas don't know what you look like. I'm quite sure that ain't your real voice. And if that is your real voice, my nigga, bruh, I don't know what to tell you, low. But you was a fuck boy. You was a fake nigga. You was a bitch nigga, bro. Straight up. And that's why I don't fuck with you. DJ Act, that's why I look at you funny, bro, because you move different. You know how they got that saying that money makes a nigga who he really is? That's DJ Act. He got that little show with um with Joe Button. Joe Button was pussing this nigga. Make cut like a puss foot. But I understand maybe that's still a relationship they have, but ain't no nigga about to talk to me like that, bro. I don't give a fuck who you is, straight up. But that's it, bro. LB for what's the deal? 200. Wale. You're still a bitch.